Hey, before we get going, we're going to talk about the uh, presenting sponsor of this show, and that's, of course, Miller Lite, because uh, winter means more moments with the coolest people in your life. Make these moments even better with Miller Lite, the great-tasting light beer for people who love beer. A new year is a perfect time for friends, family, and the great-tasting light beer. It's Miller time. Uh, the dependable flavor. Um, I mean, the boys had... Dude, uh, I, know the, I know the ad read says winter. We're getting patio weather. Drinking oh, Miller yeah. Lights outside in February. It was 40 February. degrees out. I wanted oh. to be in, on like North Ave Beach with yeah. a piece of Miller Lite. Yeah, so having that, when you get that little taste of that air with a Miller Lite refreshing in this type of weather, it's been, it's been beautiful, so... It's great. We're blessed. We're blessed in the city to have Miller Lights. It's great. Miller Light is brewed for taste. It hits different than other light beers. It's uh, made from simple ingredients. Miller Light is for people who love the taste of beer. Malted barley gives it a rich, balanced toffee note flavor and uh, the golden color you know and love. And a clean finish means it's always refreshing and easy to drink. Miller Light, great taste. 96 calories. Go to MillerLite.com slash Redline to find the delivery options near you. Or, let's be honest, it's Miller Lite. You can find it pretty much anywhere that they sell beer. It's Miller time. Celebrate responsibly. Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. 96 calories and 3.2 carbs per 12 ounces. All right, bang, bang. Welcome to the mid-show. Uh, this is Eddie, White Sox Dave in Chief. We are also joined in studio by Jeff Nadu and Chris Castellani. Um, recap show. Kind of a recap show here. If you guys caught our first live show on Tuesday, uh, you guys know we had ourselves a night at Barcelona River North on Valentine's Day, and uh, we are going to talk about the resolution of the contest and just everything that happened. Um, Chris is here. I like I like you here, Chris, because you could kind of be a third party arbiter with no kind of skin in the game. Yeah, no, I was I was an observer last yes. night for sure. So I feel like there's a you know I'll be fair and balanced as ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of course, like with us idiots, there can't be a fucking no, any ever. competition no. go by without any type of controversy. <laughs> I know Nadu was a little hot. You were mad at me. Called me red ed, motherfucking me. Uh, so well, yeah, you you. I mean, you switched the rules up. You I didn't. Told not, me I, I didn't switch do shit up. And then he comes in with McDonald's gift cards. I, I didn't. Switch, like, I wasn't with him. I blame. Yeah, him. It was. Him. Why are you blaming me? I didn't pick out McDonald's. I didn't pick out anything. But I, the rules. I, the rules were simple. Uh, Listen, you had to go to a designer, yeah. which we did. McDonald's ain't a designer. Yeah, but he's trying to have his. All right, so so listen. They, well, this is a stage. bonus. Let me let me set the stage real quick. So. Um, Listen, if you somehow, if you for some reason didn't listen Tuesday, they had to buy a five hundred dollars. They had a five hundred dollars budget. They had to buy two designer items. White Sox Dave bought a no, Chanel no, no. no, you're already butchering. You did. You, you had five hundred dollars. <laughs> There's one spend. item. You, you could buy yeah. whatever. You could buy whatever. Right. Yeah. 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 Sure. 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 And okay. there was nothing that suggested that you had, had to spend exactly five hundred. So we went to the designer store. Dave picked out. Went to multiple designer stores. He got two different items, and then he had a little left over, and he wanted his personality to shine through. And he got the. the it gift was like six forty-five sure. ish at night, and we had to be at the bar at seven for the festivities to start. And I, so I had about 80, 90 bucks left over. I wanted to get to as close to five hundred as I could, obviously. So I wanted to get a. I was going to get like a twenty-five dollar gift card and then a build a bear, but I couldn't find a build a bear in time. And, all that shit. So, so you, like, got right, it, you, well, got you got it. You got it. What? Eighty bucks. You got the Gucci scarf was like two hundred bucks, right? I believe that was. And then how yeah. much was the uh, how much was the Chanel perfume? They like two hundred. They were both like uh, like one ninety five. Something like that. Like. Yeah. Like, they yeah. were both like right around the same price. And then and then the dudes, uh, the Gucci wallet you bought was like was like four, like four, it was four ninety five. I want to say it was because like that was the first item I looked at. Four sixty. That was like four sixty, and then he just we just ate the rest because it was like with why? tax, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It was like five oh seven with tax. Yeah. And I just went with the whole. It's a Gucci. It's a you know, girl. They yeah. Want it. Generally, mm -hmm. girls like Gucci. Mm -hmm. Boom. Yeah. Now, if I didn't know we could throw in gift certificates to dinners. Yeah, I would have done that. <laughs> I think he was but a real remember, but remember though, real quick. Yesterday, I I had mentioned that I'd wanted to do something in particular, and he shot it down. Yeah, so what I, did you? What I did think if you're if you're trying, he wanted to get a spa. Spa. Yeah. yeah. But I think if you're trying to what's say, what's that any different from gifts to it? If your if your gripe is that I lost out because of McDonald's gift card, then you didn't do a very well, no, good it wasn't job. No, wasn't necessarily the gripe. It was the fact that I would have went with the spa. From the start, but you're trying to, but like he that would have won. No, I, sure, but maybe, but he, you're also, but like you're negating the fact that he also went to designer stores. Yeah. So that like, said, I would both I went to those, the same stores. I bought those gift cards not because I thought that was a good gift. It was a joke. It, it was a joke. I will admit, because girls like McDonald's. I thought a Gucci wallet would be better than a scarf and perfume, personally. Yeah, like but that. So here's that, the question. Just a real, here's know. the question. Do you think I would agree with that? If do I you girl. think the eighty dollars from McDonald's put him over the top? Does does the scarf and the perfume, you know I spoke to a few of the girls there, yeah, and they said 
oh yeah, I would have. I love the. I love McDonald's. Diet you know? Coke. Right. Yeah, because yeah. I think I so, think which, I think it's crazy. Night, but, I think you have is. a genuine gripe about like I. I think that was kind of a little cheap put in the McDonald's, but I also don't think that's what put him over the edge. I don't think so. That's either. what I'm saying. And anecdotally, I think he had the edge regardless. What do you, all right, so we'll go third party arbiter. What do you think? I, I see your point. It's kind of like uh, you know what. Would a guy have made the Hall of Fame if he didn't use steroids type of thing? Sure. Like, like, I think yeah. I'm with you. I think that having multiple items helps, too. Like, you know, yeah, I, that's true. Yeah, I think that definitely helped. Um, I, I, w- I was not aware of the McDonald's gift cards until much later. <laughs> I find that humorous. I mean, that's look, it's it's a definite like, you know, get it's a definite edge. Like McDonald's, it's I mean, it's America's restaurant. Chicks love the, it, that fucking restaurant. Exactly. But I think I, I think know, I didn't really know they loved it that much. I, it might be a Midwest you don't, thing. You don't know women as well as they. Not out here. Not <laughs> like yeah. I feel like they like like Taco Bell and shit more though. Like I also feel like Bloomingdale's just giving out that mirror. So that, oh yeah, yeah. That, I agree. Yeah. Dave would. Dave was also smarter with that too. Like, well, that, that was that luck. Was I, we uh, didn't know that. Oh, like, really? that like he part... bought it, and then she's like, "Oh, this comes with it." Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah, I was like, "Oh, all right." Yeah. And that's where like we. I mean, you'll watch the video. It'll be in stool scenes next week. We like highlighted all the shopping or whatever. Like the dude, like. He couldn't have swung at the first pitch faster. Well, well that, I didn't necessarily. I I had an idea that what I wanted originally it was too much. Yeah. So I went a little smaller. I, I just thought it was a nice little piece in your purse. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It was. Which it it no is. doubt is. Whoever got you know? it, it's very lucky. Yeah. It was uh, his friend. The girl. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, you're yeah, stuffing yeah. ballot boxes now? <laughs> no, she. I no, guess she had the. I was there. She had the ra- raffle ticket. I I have to. She screamed this. so loud that the windows of the bar almost shattered when she won. So that's all excited. Really? Yeah. We're gonna get a bathroom. lot of shit for this. There's not gonna be a ton of footage from inside the stores because each mall security guard or whatever manager of the store they were like we didn't, yeah. very I, very I, adamant I, about. lance did a good job being he got, sneaky. Uh, yeah, yeah but it's not going to be like full I cameras think, i think we so. had we had good iphone footage inside of blue yeah Mills. we got as much as we could have yeah. is what i'm saying yeah. it wasn't but it's going to be iphone footage but, so and that, that was the other thing too like part of the reason like we wanted to make a good video of us running around Michigan Avenue, so that was like part of the reason that you didn't just go swing it, at the first pitch like they do. It's that like, was let's that wallet was around. the first thing yeah. I looked at. And the I, the dude couldn't. I mean, at. he couldn't have walked. We couldn't have been in Gucci longer than eight minutes. I thought he the black on black was fire. He had a knows what he wants. Yeah I, yeah, I thought it was a great piece for like like I said a purse, and I that's what it. it we is. were in a position to kind of get. Like if yeah. we had more money, it would have been easier. But the spa would have been the winner, I believe. I believe that would have trumped his. It would idea. have been good for sure. Yeah, and that's why. I like. And I also Definitely. thought about sunglasses. I was thought I was looking for sunglasses. Looked at sunglasses too. Yeah, just because of like the weather getting. Yeah, the road getting no, better that's not a bad idea. I also feel here. Here's another uh, theory. The vibe of the bar, the darkness of Barcelona River North, may have hurt your item as well. Yeah, you can. Yeah, it was like pop. hard to doesn't like, stand out. And as he yes. said, there were multiple items. Or someone said, yeah. yeah, that that was big for him. It was colorful. His yes. scarf, his yeah. scarf was colorful. The, the aesthetics eye. were better. Yeah, you know. presentation. I, yes. I do have to say yeah. that was my first time in a in the Gucci store before. I felt very poor. Oh, dude. I like <laughs> first time too. Yeah. yeah, I never. I and they were so nice. They were like, awesome. The the all the, of them the were staff. So they nice. had like. They also had like fifty people. Yeah. Uh, in the oh, store they got, work, they rolled they got deep. An, they rolled a deep. Fucking army. But then we're like, and I'm like, oh, you know, we have a $500 budget. And she's like, all right, none of this stuff in this whole room. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> that, yeah. It's like that little handkerchief is like, yeah. it looks like a dinner napkin. And she's like, no, nah, it's $750. And I was like, oh, fuck. And uh, so also, White Sox, they won by 19 votes. So 19 tickets. So it was, it was, it was, pretty a, it big was a pretty gap. big route. Pretty big route. I would um, like to see that vote where I live compared to here. You Maybe the, you, you think the Amish would go for that Gucci bag? <laughs> I, 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 I think I think the demographics that I, that we would have moved around with would have been. Maybe I mean, dude, I thought it's all I, good. I thought it was a good wallet. Here's what I will say: there was one broad in there that liked my gift. I'm just gonna say. I'm just, I mean, there was more than that. Well, the one know. I was talking to the whole night. Oh, She's okay. the only one that liked the gift I got. So well, yeah, it worked. Yeah. I don't know. It, it was it was a fun night, regardless. Though, congratulations, Dave. I, is there now? 
how, we were people are saying too like did you help him because that's a little cheap if you did help him no like he i definitely but, like did. like i no hold on a second you think he did i just said because nobody that was the Jeff. first time i've ever been in a gucci store how much yeah. help could i fucking be anyways that's a good point fair point like i don't know any of that who yeah. came up with the mcdonald's idea that was, that was dave. me <laughs> that was dave because i said you should go to walgreens and get a card and then then he went and got then they had like the wall of gift cards at, at I, the Walgreens. I was looking for a McDonald's prior to that though. Yeah, you were. You were. Yeah. Yeah. And I then guess, we lucked yeah. out by cause I, I got a card and in the card I wrote a note like, Can't wait for our Turks and Caicos vacation next week, babe, <laughs> or something like that. You well, know, now just, let me ask you, what if he would have just like the money he had left over, right? Or let's say the money I had over left over. What if I'd have put it in the wallet and it's sticking out? Yeah, so I, I like I, I said, I don't I think like for, we say this all the time in the draft. I think McDonald's was not in the spirit of the contest. I don't think it like the Could whole I thing was that, a I put money at in? not one point thought I was uh, like, oh, I'm going to get away with something like find a loophole. I thought we had a five hundred dollar. I mean, we based, to, based, on based on what, what he, he did, did. Sure. Yeah, yeah you could have. No, but, but like, yeah, but I, I do feel like you could say it's not that you keep going back as if that the gift card to McDonald's tipped or negated. If money was That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I, don't right. think it, I don't think it tipped it completely. And it doesn't negate the, like, he accomplished the mission. Yeah. Like, he accomplished the mission of getting designer stuff from designer stuff. But we'll never know. It's like a, Chanel and Gucci. I mean, you know what I mean? It doesn't get fancier than that. It does not. But I don't know, though. Who For knows? the record, I if I'm a chick, I want nothing to do with that scarf that. <laughs> Dude, what do you do with yeah, that? Yeah, I got to be honest. I agree. So you put I'm that. Surprised. I asked the woman yeah. because I, I thought it was when she first pulled it out. I thought it was just folded, but it's just like a thin. It's like a it's, one inch. Yeah, they call it a scarf. It's not. It's, it's not like a, a fucking a scarf. Ribbon. Yeah, it's more like a ribbon than a scarf. And she said that what you do is when you spend like thousands of dollars on Gucci bags and you're at the airport you tie these scarves around your bag so you can identify them more easily. You can identify your Gucci with your Gucci scarf as it comes off the uh, baggage claim. Yeah, Let's be real. Really? The gift That's, I got was better. It just I, was. I agree. I mean, that that was that yeah. Just was. You, were, were you like, that were, was the best gift of them, but right? I, my package was absolutely the best. It was, yeah. it, I, yeah. I honestly was. The variety. Yeah. Some people just see quantity, dude. Yes. Right? Like, and I, don't know. I also was, put more thought bad. into it, though. Like I was trying to think of like, all right, I'm gonna get the high end stuff and I'm gonna get the goofy stuff, like to show off personality that is non existent <laughs> on me. Actually, it's all <laughs> fake, but Yeah, um, but you want you faked them into thinking you had a personality. Sure did. Yeah. Which fake is kind of make your personality. It, that, <laughs> it, that's I've bullshitted my way through thirty four years of life. You're Costanza. Exactly. Yeah. So exactly. I don't know. Congratulations, Dave. That was uh that was something, but no, it was fun. Uh, good turnout too for a Tuesday in February. Like, yeah, you yeah. Know, the bar, the bar got fucking damn near, it was damn near pretty full. Up. Yeah, so it, it was good. So thank you everybody for coming out. Um, it was decorated well too. Yeah, it was like great. a nice, nice little Valentine's yeah. Day thing. This is a good little vibe. Yeah. What else to do? You got anything else in Chicago? No, I went out to dinner last. That was great. What'd you get? I got chicken parm. Dante got like all sorts of shit. Man. Yeah, he just ordered he's, a bunch of shit. He's yeah. a big let's order the whole menu guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah family yeah. style. So for me, it was hard to get drunk. To be honest, you know? yeah, I, it was. I had a ton of food. Not for it. Eddie, it wasn't. This guy was falling all over the place. <laughs> Fucking animal. It's not true. There were a couple folks here that were that were, <laughs> that were fucked up. What are you looking at me for? Yeah, including him. I uh, was fine. I was, certain, well, a certain girl in here. Uh, she, I don't know if she's here today. <laughs> I don't see her yet. Uh, she, she might be. She, she was I was having a good off. time, but I was fine. I, she was yeah, I left at like whatever time, picked up the dog, and went to bed. She was hurting, though. Uh, real quick here, ChevyDriveChicago.com. If you're a car buyer in Chicagoland, you know it's February, and it's a great time to shop and order your new Chevy. Whether you're looking at the uh, Chevy display at the Chicago Auto Show, browsing on ChevyDriveChicago.com, or visiting your local Chevy dealer, there's always a new Chevy deal waiting for you. I think we're going to be there tomorrow, Friday. I think that is the plan yes. for the uh, the Auto Show. I don't know what time, but if we uh, if you plan on going to the Auto Show and you see us, say what's up. Yeah, maybe we'll all learn something about cars. Yeah, we'll say I've... what's up. Let's let's fucking take a, a nice picture in front of a, a Chevy. Silverado. Yeah, silver. I don't care. Uh, I'd love to be Chevy. a Silverado guy. It'd be beautiful. And, uh, yeah, just go check out the fleet, the uh, Malibu. Um, like Chief said, the Silverado, the Tahoe. It doesn't matter. Just head to ChevyDriveChicago.com to learn more today. And uh, make sure you're going to Chevy with all your needs. Right, Dave? That's right, Ed. Uh, I just got my oil changed last week at a local Chevy dealership via 
ChevyDriveChicago.com. Because it's nice and reliable. Isn't that right? Oh, it's the easiest thing on earth. All right. ChevyDriveChicago.com. Go check them out, guys. Go make sure you're looking at your next Chevy. Uh, wait, where'd you guys go? Villar. Villar. Villar, you said? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. It was great. Go. Yeah. And then Valentine's Day, you know, we both were dateless. So we thought, hey, we'll go together. You didn't look dateless. Well, after, but uh, <laughs> but no. So yeah, he he walks in. I said, "It's you know, it's Valentine's Day. We're not going to get a table here." He goes, "Oh, don't worry. Uh, they I, they already got me set up." I felt like we were Henry Hill with uh, Karen yeah. when they walked through uh, uh, the kitchen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we walk up, the table just set up. Boom. Yeah. He's, he's he, set me up there before too, and it's crazy. Yeah, like Dante just, is a, he's a he's a good guy to know. Yeah, yeah. they don't bring yeah. you menus. Yeah, like he's that. worthless other than that. But uh, <laughs> you can get some free table reses from him, stuff like and that. And I will say, last minute. the other great thing about Chicago, and he reminded me of this, is the sausage. Oh yeah, he had sausage and peppers. Oh, it's awesome! Awesome, yeah, yeah. sausage yeah. was incredible. Oh yeah. Dairy, Meatballs, that, everything. Dairy <laughs> sounds like they do. It's going to be a part of this migration to Chicago. That's Maybe. what it sounds like. No, it was, the dude's out. The dude can't. No, he don't. He's. It's been here a day, and he's already going nuts, dude. Well, you're ready to pull your hair out. You're like, dude, I gave you so many hours of content today. Why do I got to come in today and do more <laughs> podcasts? I was like, bro, this is it. This is it. No. Like, you wake up, you do it again. It's Groundhog Day. You were not complaining about that. I did not complain. So you complain, but you're like, I, I gave you fucking hours yesterday. No, but you. I don't know where the airport. I don't want to make sure I'm there on time. I don't want this fucking airport is a shit show. No, okay, it's you'll not. be good. You'll, you'll be, be good fine. at this. Oh, at, at this time, you'll be good. It's, yeah, it's, it's okay. You'll be fine. Yeah, you'll be fine. Because I'll tell you, when I was coming in, it looked messy. It looked. Messy. I've yeah. never had an issue at O'Hare. You can take an Uber and get there in probably oh, 25 what, minutes. Oh, okay. was Dave giving you shit for uh, what was it? The uh, welcoming Mincy to the out of office crew. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he wasn't very happy about the yeah. room. No, I said, welcome to the remote crew. It was, was a remote He was crew. very happy. And he said, we're going to do daily reports. <laughs> Have you done a daily report or no? He hasn't asked me for one. No. You want to ask me same. for one? I'll give him. I do. Uh, I do Are you sorts. edit sit down? I don't. I oh, have some that Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. That, and that's YouTube and everything? Oh, yeah. Because they put like pictures and shit up, right? I do all that. Oh, you do? I do all the YouTube stuff. Yeah. Yeah, you I pretty much that. grind on that show. Yeah, you do a good you know, job. With yeah, it's good. Record show. and boom. You know? No, yeah. You do a good job. But, with um, that. but yeah, this city's cool, man. I was real surprised by it. Everything's real nice and beautiful. Mm -hmm. you, you got some good weather, too. You kind of lucked out. That's true. Yeah, I'm really nice. We were talking about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was, you know, it's not 20. I saw in like a few days, it's supposed to be like 20 here. So. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. going to it's gonna be shitty until yeah. June. Yeah. June. Uh, it, it, May. May, May doesn't even. May lately has you not are been. You fucking high off your ass. What do you mean? Dude, we've had June? like 50 degree days do in you May agree for with a that? while. I mean, June? I'll say May. May's not going to be May bad. May 1st, yeah. Oh, no. Second week of May, Danny. Says. I feel like that first weekend is always like one of the best weekends of sports of the year, and where you have the fight, the derby, and all that. And I feel like the last several years that's been a very shitty weather weekend. I can't remember either way, but I I, I feel like I would remember if it was thirty degrees in on May. 5th. Not thirty, but like not exactly. You want to go jump in the lake either? I mean, sure. I wouldn't jump in the lake. And you know what I'm you understand yeah. what I'm saying? Would you jump in the river? <laughs> I already did. One thing I will Fuck say face. about that bar last night, <laughs> if I could say, <laughs> I noticed other than the face. like a lot of the barstool people that were there. Yeah, I noticed a lot of the dudes like in the like in front of us. Mm -hmm. They were all kind of together. I noticed like they didn't mingle with like the girls. The girls. I mean, maybe next time you're back, we'll have you do a little yeah, ladies' I noticed man. That. It was kind of interesting. You coach them up. Yeah, I don't know. I guess you like, know they were just going out to drink and. Was it? Oh, well, I that, guess that listen. was an embarrassing moment for me. Why? Um, Tom's buddy who I've, I've met really good guy. I've met him probably, I don't know, six, seven times. He came up to me and like dapped me up and I'm like, I don't know who the fuck that is, but he got glasses and a haircut. And then the, some girl that was at his table, like saw me talking to the girl. I'm like, I don't know who that guy was that I was just talking to, but it was just Tom's friend that I've met like a hundred times. And then he came back up. He's like, you don't remember me? I was like, no, I do. You just got a fucking haircut. And you're wearing glasses. And you're, and you're wearing glasses. Head. He's like Clark Kent, but it like. I noticed him right away, and I only met him one time before that. Oh, good for you. So I've never met him, and I even knew who he was. <laughs> so, well, I think if you're out that day, you're like, you're single, right? So yeah. Maybe. But I felt like, you know, it's like, you know, you just kind of don't. Isn't that why you go to the bar? Like to talk to. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Is I go to the bar to get completely shit faced. Yeah. Is that well, why? You were, you were, I mean, you were shacked up, Dave. Dave was shacked was up it? all night in that little booth. He had females everywhere. 
No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely did. <laughs> no. They were friends. Yeah. They were just there friends. Was a large group of friends of mine that came out. All right, Nadu. So you're about to take off. Where do you guys stand now? We're not, we're, as you depart. Oh, you're, no, we were cool. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we were good. We, we, we hugged chatting. it out. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, we hugged. Time. We did. We hugged it you out. You guys hugged? Oh, yeah. Do you Hannah remember that? Set it up. You it was like a half hug. Yeah, it was half okay, hug. Okay. It was one of Hannah's like, oh, come on, team building. Oh, really? I do have to wow. make a public apology, apology to Hannah. I kind of yelled at her last night because she was stressing out about things going well at the bar. And she started coaching me up on like the most tedious things. Like, you got to eat the taco like this. And I'm like, Hannah, shut up. I know how to eat a fucking taco. And I apologize to Hannah. I apologize you to her You probably don't know how to eat the taco, though. <laughs> You, you don't think don't. I know my way around Mexican uh, food? No, I, I don't. I, I, wa I watched you do a sausage <laughs> tasting where we had three different... Listen to this, Jeff. We had three different tastings. This is the dumbest fucking thing <laughs> no, I've ever heard, not, by the way, but go dude, ahead. Listen to this. So we, we're, 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 we're about to release a sausage infused with Jardinero with J.P. Graziano. And we have three different <laughs> sauces. We're trying to taste which one we like better, which one we want to release. White Sox Dave this is, is not a blindfold true. This on. This is absolutely we not true. We have the let, footage, let, dude. Let, let, let him finish. We and have then the you footage. Can... White Sox Dave shoved all three pieces That's in his mouth at the same not time. not <laughs> true. In any capacity, Tom, that is, is that a true? lie. Tom, Pull up the is footage right now. Sounds true. It's in, it's in stool scenes. It's true, dude. It's absolutely you put you put one in you you took like one or two chews and, and then I like swallowed. while you're no you were still chewing the food no and it, how'd you i might have had a little in my mouth that i was like cleaning off teeth and shit but i <laughs> i know what? you guys are you, acting like you had a lemon sorbet between bites as a palate cleanser like what are you talking about exactly but how do, you hey, do you remember what i'm talking yeah this scene? yeah i mean I, i'm like kind of in the middle because i do remember it being funny where it's like how can you even tell the difference but you guys acted like he can't but like, i had i put all three in my mouth and simultaneously chewed them <laughs> i picked up one <laughs> ate it chewed it swallowed it picked up the other Chewed it, ate it, no swallowed it. Yes, there, there was, was no swallow. There, there was, was. but you need to give it a little bit of time. Yeah, you got to taste. I it. I know what a sausage tastes. You got to like. get the aftertaste. Yeah, yeah, because one of them the had fennel. a very distinct. Yes. Aftertaste. you got to give it like a thirty seconds, a minute. Yes, no, this guy. Seconds. You got to savor it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this that's is nuts. just he, that's nuts. Yeah, he had a fucking conveyor belt coming from both ends, dude. <laughs> So how was the sausage? Did you tell it's a difference? Delicious. I don't know. Ask him. He's Did you tell fucking... a different? Yeah. And every, like, the way I ranked the sausages were the way everybody else ranked them, too. Now everybody wondering, was like, in agreement. What were you doing in this taco? Were you eating it fucking the other way? Like, <laughs> no. Were you eating it fucking I didn't know. Does anyone the have the footage of the taco? This is yeah. what, this is what I happened. So. I, no, I know this that. is like, it was Just only before. me and her. I don't think there was cameras around. I didn't even know there, they had tacos on the menu. So, yeah. which it's a new thing, I guess. Um, and so I walk up, I like do a double take because Mexican food is my fucking favorite thing on earth. I love Mexican food. And I looked at it, I'm like, those actually look like good, good tacos. Not like, you know, standard tacos you get from wherever. Yeah. They looked like good, good. So I'm like, whoa. <laughs> so I, I'm like, I'm going to get those right off the bat. And, um, and she's like, here, try this one, try this one, try this one. And I'm like, no, 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 I'm just going to get some. And she's like, no, try this. You got to try it to make sure you like it. I'm like, all right, actually, no, what? I will try it. So I took a bite of it, and there's two tortillas, on, which is typical for tacos, obviously, like authentic-ish tacos. Corn tortillas. Corn tortillas. And I accidentally grabbed one side, <laughs> and the taco kind of, like, flipped a little bit. I would have left that part of the story out. But And she's like, no, no, no. And she's, like, grabbing the taco and, like, showing me. And I'm like, Hannah, stop touching my fucking food. I know how to eat a fucking taco. <laughs> he hates people touching anything of his. It's, it's Even touching him. But it's... it's <laughs> He hates direction. Yeah. It's yeah, not... It's the little, it. the little direction. I snapped on you in the store a little bit yesterday because I'm looking at a price tag of something, and I just don't like... It's like, do this, do this, do that, do that. It's like... I'm doing what I'm doing right now. Yeah. Let me do it. By and the way, shut I did, before I go, All I did want to bring something up to you, Dave. You made a comment in your Dominican Republic video that you knew fluent Spanish. That was a bit, I mean, it was a bit crazy. Fluent? No, I, I, I was, that was obviously a okay. gross embellishment. Okay. I did major in it though. You did? Yeah. Wow. There, like 10 years ago, I could conver converse with, I mean, Mexican. you were better than most, I think, like most people that would go there. Yeah. Know, I but. mean, we got five videos coming out over the next five yeah. weeks. And it, if you have a, a cartel leader on the sit down, Dave will be your translator. I could, I okay. could <laughs> translate enough. Well, hey, listen, I got to bring something up to you. Mm -hmm. I may, may, this is a big may, may be going to Sinaloa 
in the summer. That's it's in Mexico. W- yeah, and that's where the cart. Oh yeah, is it? yeah. yeah that's right, right now, right? That's yeah. the yeah. It's all travel. I'm gonna yeah. connect to certain people, and we're gonna do some footage, dude. That would I, be interesting to have you come. You're I Spanish absolutely would. I would. You absolutely. Would? Yeah. No, you're not going. I veto. <laughs> I, I would love to get kidnapped you're not by going. the cartel for content. Never see Dave again. Well, yeah. We're not kidnapped by we have, cartel. We have Stick stuff. those Only if they agree things. to send you, if they send you, if they send us your head, that's fine. <laughs> like Jesus. in Breaking Bad on, yes. the, on the tortoise? <laughs> on, a t- on a turtle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait, you want to watch him be beheaded? Well, I don't want to see it. I just want his you head. You just want the head. Look at that fucking melon. You want melon. it delivered. Yeah, I want that. <laughs> Could I want you imagine? The, I want that melon on the shelf in the dog walk studio. You put it right here. Yeah, that's what I want. Put it right here. I would like that. I would actually like that. If I if I get beheaded for content, I would love. We got it like, my See how boss. <laughs> Let me ask you real quick. Yeah, don't damage Get the brain that needs to be studied. Yeah. If we if we found out that that was happening, like Dave was kidnapped and he was going to be beheaded. Would that be the most viewed video ever in Barcelona? How history? much do you think Portnoy would pay to get him out? Yeah. Let's, let's would he, yeah, we're his. right. I think he'd pay a lot of money, but he would definitely let them fuck with him. Oh, yeah. Like he would, <laughs> and you kidding. know what? That would be <laughs> fair. Yeah. Well, like that, cut his like, hands off or something? Yeah, it'd be like, yeah, like, hey, you know. Just scare him a little just bit. Just don't go easy on him. Yeah. Like, so, just, you know. Well, you know what they do down there, right? They they get like a cricket bat and they, beat, they slap your ass a hundred times. Like in like, Days and Confused? Bang, 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 yeah. To initiate Fuck that, dude. Yeah, and you can't sit for like weeks. I, I would you love that. sitting. Uh, sitting. <laughs> I'm not good at anything on earth. I'm good at sitting down. And Trust me. Yeah, it would be not good to sit down tacos. for a while. <laughs> Bad Do you want to have a taco off? <laughs> I'll have a taco. Danny, go to make a taco. Mrs. taco. <laughs> Can we see the taco footage? Do we have it? I don't no, know. It was it's before. It was, oh, there is no there. footage. Yeah, it was yeah. like, there was nobody there yet. It was just me and her. And it was like a five second That would have been funny. Like Hannah being like, you should try it before you order it. And it's just. But and but then two minutes earlier, I'm setting. This is another thing that so and and Hannah did, does a great job for us behind the scenes and mm-hmm. everything. And she did a great job at the bar last night. She set most of that up. Um, so I, I'm I, I felt bad kind of snapping. Yeah, here but comes two the shit minutes, sandwich. Yeah, two minutes before that, I'm setting up the gift on the little table that we had, like the dis- display table, and I'm trying to make it look all pretty and presentable and everything. And she's like, "No, do this, do this, do this," and I'm like, "Hannah, I got it." Hannah, I got it. And she's just like bouncing off the walls because she's nervous that like yeah. the event wouldn't go as well as we hoped, which it did, thanks to her in large part. But it well, was just that little bar, stuff. You gotta give yeah, of course. Yeah. 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 Julia, Shout I'm out to Elizabeth, Elizabeth, Elizabeth and all Elizabeth, them. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody there. And everybody, everybody, everybody who came out yeah. on a Tuesday night, exactly. which is not For you sure. know, an easy request to make. Yeah, I got to really. come here on like a Saturday. Yeah, come and here in the summer. summer dude. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, it's a different Good ball game. Yeah, it's a different yes. ball game. But no, you actually got a decent representation for a Monday, Tuesday. I'll be honest. Yeah, yeah. as good as you can get right now. Yeah, I'll be honest. But yeah, yeah. All right, then, man. I know you got to fly because you got to head back to the Amish. What? Well, I can stay a few minutes. All right, all right, all right. All right you sure, Chris? How how did uh, how's your trip been? So far, so good, good, man. Yeah, happy to visit. Happy to see you guys. Do some content. It's good to meet your brother. Yeah, my brother was there last yeah. night. Oh, he was? Yeah. 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 Really? Uh-huh. He was. Yeah. Yeah. He I, I think he might have left before you got there. No, yeah. no. No, he was there. With, at, there was definitely no, he, I don't know. He got there late, bro. Yeah, we got there pretty late. Yeah. Like uh, no, I think your brother stayed until like 9 o'clock or something, right? Yeah, around like, there. Nine, yeah. 10, oh, shit. Yeah. I yeah, didn't I think, even know that. Yeah. Yeah, no, I was sitting next to him. Yep. Yeah. By the way, some of the uh, it was good meeting some of the stoolies, too. Oh yeah, always fun. Yeah. White boy Rick, he was out there. A couple yeah. people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shout out to them. Shout out white boy Rick. Yeah, was that yeah. a tall one? Yeah, he was him. moving around with the the pink salmon. Oh yeah, the Indiana, Indiana, Indiana shirt. shirt. Oh yeah, yeah. no, he was cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, too. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say it. He kind of stole my bro last night a little bit. <laughs> like towards the end of the night, he was trying to like move in. Damn. And that. he comes up to me, he goes, "Hey, bro." He's like. Are you like, you know, I was like, no, nah, bro, do what you do. Man. No hard feelings. Yeah, mm. No hard it. feelings. You got That's it. funny. Hey, uh, real quick here. Uh, the Game Time app is an exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports created by fans for fans. Game Time is a ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last minute deals on tickets to sports, concerts and shows. And they guarantee the lowest price. They crack the code on how to score deals on last minute tickets. It's possible with the Game Time app. The biggest last minute price drops can be found on seats you thought you could never buy. Uh, Chris, you've used the game time. Oh, yeah. Right? I used, Mitzi and I used it in Omaha all the time. It's great. Yeah. yeah. Easy. Nice and easy. Seamless process. Very easy. Yep. Exactly. Uh, the purchase process takes uh, just two taps and 10 seconds. And once you buy your tickets, they're delivered directly to your phone. No printer needed. Uh, the app also allows you to easily share tickets with friends via text so you can get to the game 
uh, get into the game seamlessly. Skip the hassle and enjoy the moment. Download the Game Time app or go to the website, enter your email, and redeem code RLR for $20 off your first purchase. Terms do apply. Uh, yeah, it should be it should be your. I'm premiere. using it on Sunday. Are you? Where yep. are you going? Hawks, uh, Maple Leafs. So oh, we're getting. To, I think we're getting to the end of Patrick Kane. We'll talk about that second hour. But yeah. but yeah, it, and it's super easy. And I'm not getting the tickets until Sunday because I'm waiting for those last minute price drops because that's the that's the beauty of game there time. There you go, game time. Beautiful. What are, are you? Um. So you're you're going back. Is like it, so. Is, is Pennsylvania going to be like distraught? Is are you guys like that? He's cool? coming back. No, about about the Eagles. <laughs> No, I, I mean, yeah, people are pretty upset, but yeah. I mean, you got to get over it sooner or later. Yeah, yeah. I feel like they because they got one too. The, I feel like that's the, what I'm saying. The blow yeah. is significantly softened by the yeah. fact you got one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot of blaming the officials though had went on, and mm -hmm. it's like you gave up fucking 31 points. I mean, defensively they were shit. Yeah, the pass rush was awful. Yeah. It was like non-existent. I get it was a bad call. You don't make that call, but it was. Was it a bad call? I mean, he I held. think so. I yeah, thought it was in the pretty Super Bowl, soft. you don't yeah. call that. Yeah. And that's I mean, quiet. I agree, but it's like, I don't think that's the reason they lost the game. No. No. I mean, they were hideous. I, I hate blaming the uh, more than anything. Yeah, but it's then. Such a cop out. Yeah. But like, both teams were moving the ball offensively. That would have given the Eagles the ball back with what, minute 47? But, every, but in yeah. the second half, every touchdown that she's had, it goes. 10 yards wide. No, I understand. You know what I'm saying? But I, I would have liked to see Hertz with a chance to, like a yeah, legitimate agreed. chance. And to we got down. robbed of that, which yeah. people have a gripe on. We all did. Yeah. Yeah, that for entertainment great. purposes. Because yeah. honestly, I would say, at least in my lifetime, top three most entertaining Super Bowl. Top it was five. a really good yeah, game. Yeah, I mean, yeah. 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 It's just mar it scarred a little bit by that uh, by that call. I yeah. say yeah. the Eagles should be in it every year. I mean, every time they're in Super Bowl, the game's great. It's a good game. That's true. Yeah, they've played I mean, you the know last what? three. have been really good. Yeah. That Patriot game. Even back to T.O. when he, what was it? Three right. ACL, it was right? 24 21. Three yeah, it was three point yeah. yeah. He had the three, he had three tutties, right? Yeah, Donovan made like yeah. 150 yards. Wait, I don't think he up. scored, he but he caught out. a bunch of passes. Yeah. 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 He didn't. Okay. He I, played I just, out of his mind. And he though. came he had off a broken leg. leg, too. Yeah. 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 Or it, was, it was a leg. Yeah. yeah. He was playing yeah. on one leg. That's when they instituted that cowboy collar rule. It was basically because of that play. You can't. Was that? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Were you a cowboy collar guy? Uh, like in, as a, to tackle people that way? No, 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 no. The that's a horse. No, collar. no, no. Oh, horse collar. Yeah, no, I didn't wear a cowboy collar. I was a cowboy collar. I, I bet you were. I feel like you would. And be. I pulled it up. Good over, linebacker. The jersey oh. up over over it, so it, I looked like. I feel like you got a built-in cowboy hydrant. collar with what you're. Were you a linebacker? <laughs> I could see uh, you being like a running back, but he was a kick returner. I, I did really. Play. Oh, so you may beat me in a race, actually. Oh yeah, dude! What you, oh, you, know? you got the, the the runoff. <laughs> I'm not running shit today. I'm just saying that I'm too. I will. Over. Are you are you being a pussy? Oh, Jeff. <laughs> that's, that's a trigger lead. word. That's a trigger word. That's a lead. That's like, I, uh, how hey. far are we going? All right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Where are we going? You, you Jeff, want, hey, alley. I, let's go the alley. Just so you know, I I run marathons. That's not a joke. Well, one. I hey, we got to do this, one. bro. We See, gotta I, do this. I mean, maybe he does. Yeah. Should we? Can we do a sprint? Yeah. In the alley? Sure. Yeah, all right. We'll do it right now. We'll take a pause. Got, Dave's got his ones on. He's not wearing the boots, so that's, that's right. not that's not bad. That's a good. That's, that's a good. good. It's better than the boots. All, all right. right. What's what's so what are we thinking? Like forty? Like we thinking like uh whatever. Fit, uh, what what's like fair? Do though? we got shorts here? I don't want to run in these. I got jeans on. What are you uh, wearing? I just got sweatpants. Yeah. We could find you. A pair I, of I have running shorts. I don't know if they would. Yeah, <laughs> oh, let's squeeze them. I have running shorts in my suitcase right now. We'll get we'll get you the Castellani ones. What about right here? Yeah, uh, well, we probably know. got something. We might have something. We'll, we'll take something. Yeah, like, no, still, like here. run right here. I also love Time Out. Someone tweeted at me, and it went so under the radar that you guys called this a runoff yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> that, I saw that too, and I was like, "Wait, Lori Lightfoot election? Why does everyone have to have all fifty no. when him and I compete? Yeah, well, no, no, it's, that's like it's, it, it was an internet. It's, joke. it's just a race. Yeah, it's, it's not funny. a runoff. Right. It's, a, it's a fucking race. <laughs> the word is already a word for it. The word race has been around since fucking. That's a that's a bathing suit, but oh, that works. So, it works the same. That works. This is beautiful. This is this is. All right, the, you want to go change? See, this is what I love. This this is the makings to be better than change. anything we did the past fucking. Two <laughs> All right, days. let's. <laughs> All right, we're gonna pause and we're gonna this be back. This is making be better than anything we've All done right, the last four years. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> la, 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 la. I need a water. I need to get hydrated for this. Somebody get me a water. Here to. He said first of all he did say he could run longer than me, and that's just no, he couldn't. No, you what? White Sox, Dave just went shoes off. He's not doing himself any favors of that caveman narrative. All right, let's pop. All right, here. Start from this line right here. All right. Ready, set, go. Wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm giving you the Jesus. cadence. I'm giving you the cadence. Ready, set, 
go. Who we okay. we're going to, Chief? I'm giving you the cadence. Wow. No right. shoes. I can't run it. All right. Ready, set, go. Oh shit! I mean, he's got to be fast. <laughs> He's, I mean, oh, he's definitely faster. No shit, he got you by 10 yards. I'll tell you what, the dude is right. Confidence is everything because I've never seen someone so confident and just fucking completely just keep throwing up bricks because he's come to Chicago and just keeps fucking bricking, but he keeps putting up shots and that's all that matters, I guess. So, good for him. The shoes. <laughs> those forces. Throw them, throw those in the rafters, dude. Throw them in the hall of fame. I throw them up there? No. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like a historic day. We'll look at these and we'll remember this someday. Yeah, please. February 15th, 2023, the day Dave went 2-0 against the Duke. Why'd you do That's that? That's a good point. What you guys Two different days. What you guys did rough and rowdy? Two I different days. I, dude, there's nothing you could tell him that you could challenge him in and he'd say he'd lose. I'm convinced. No. Yes, I said he was faster than me. The, the race wasn't even over, and he was like, "Well, he's definitely faster." In his brain, he's like, "I could beat him in a distance run." Like he's already. All right, the like. Next thing. That's what I'm saying. Let's fight right now. <laughs> All right, well, Jeff. Next time, maybe I'll beat you in something. So are you? Maybe so one is day. that going to be a thing? Are you just going to fly out here every month, or are you just going to face Dave? Some new challenge. 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 Maybe. Chest. All right, that, that's the first episode of the White Sox Dave Challenge. Dave's two and all. Two and all. In two different days. I don't. You keep saying. I don't think that makes it better. Yeah. There are things I can beat him in. What, 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 what would you think of something? We'll get you back out here and you can face him. Trivia, sports betting. He actually is fast. I I wasn't thinking he'd be that fast. I'm not that fast. That he didn't beat me by that much though. All right, so that was the runoff. Dave, how do you feel? Um, There was 5% of me. I was pretty sure I was going to beat him. And then as soon as you said go, I was positive I was going to beat him. So I let him you know, keep pace for a minute and then obviously dusted him. If I would have lost to Jeff, I'd rather lose to him in a boxing match, I think. He's gone, by the way. If you're listening audio only, he <laughs> mm -hmm. has ran straight to O'Hare. So. Yeah, he had to go to the airport. Uh huh. Um, congratulations, Dave. You're, I mean, a couple of dubs for a guy. Yeah. People like to count your L's. That they're, is true, you know. They're counting your dubs to, to today. February's been a good month. The White Sox Dave Challenge off to a hot start. Yeah, like you're fucking smoking it, dude. What do you got next up your sleeve, Edward? We'll see. I mean, that was the runoff was the most spontaneous White Sox Dave Challenge of all time. Yeah, it was. All he had to do was Nadu had just had to call you a pussy, and then it was on. Yeah, Nadu was here full time. He would like it would that, just be constantly. I don't think be those get, two. Yeah, yeah, that would be our whole work day. Just, just watching be, us. Yeah, you and a dude just throwing fucking balls at the wall and shit. Just a like, couple of bulls circling each yeah, other. In the ring. Exactly. Yeah. I bet you I could smash my head in the wall harder. <laughs> he challenged you to what? A gamble off and a. You can. Uh, yes. I already. Trivia was, trivia was trivia, the other one. Yeah. That's right. Trivia was the other thing. Sports trivia, he would definitely beat me. Full, all encompassing, I think I'd be okay. Dude, that needs to be. We got to reach out to Jeff D. Lowe for the All Star break. For, well, uh, that's a good idea. For the dozen All Star break this year, one on one, Nadu they do versus, versus uh, they uh, White do, Sox Day. They could just do the bracket. So they do the bracket on the other show. Just do like individual players, so like the top eight or whatever, and just do yeah. one on ones and have, have Nadu against WSD. He's walking out. There he goes. Danny, I was joking about the tacos. Oh, he's got tacos. I just had a mountain white, of food at White Sox Dave Challenge number three. Right. Can you eat a taco? Can you eat a taco? <laughs> you pussy. <laughs> Let's see how you eat a taco. You know that is that is a thing. You pussy. And don't even try to say that this doesn't count for you guys either. If what? someone calls you a pussy, you have to you're like now I have to do it. Whatever eat it that is. Fucking taco. I'm eat gonna that eat taco. the taco in a moment. Eat the taco, Dave. What kind of taco did you get? Wait, is it challenging versus me? He said you could eat a taco better than me. <laughs> All right. All right, what is the strategy here? It's kind of falling apart a little bit on yeah, you, Dave. Yeah, it's already all fucking falling apart. Should we get Hannah in here to show you how to do it? <laughs> no. You want to see fireworks? That's the Should we go one versus one? Or what? 
Are you gonna? You, well, see now he's it's getting, probably not he's getting, great audio. He's getting cocky. He's eating. putting the salsa on there. Ed's staying away from the salsa. salsa I'm actually going to uh, maybe I'll get some. Uh, can I get some muffaletta? Yeah, can I get some JP Graziano. So how about that? How about that? We'll spin this into a little JP. A little ad. A little JP ad. JP Graziano beef kit. I like that. This is actually a pretty good idea. It is. A little muffalata on a taco. TasteRealChicago.com. Uh, so I have. Uh, this taco off is sponsored by JP Graziano. <laughs> uh, TasteRealChicago.com. I was. This is kid- their uh, 83rd year. I don't know if they've been on no, tacos. More than that. Oh, no. They've been on a lot of things. Yeah. I, I was in ketosis yesterday. There you go. During the morning. I measure had, your uh, pee. I had a couple of uh, over easy eggs for breakfast. And um, threw a little hot muffler down there from J.P. Graziano. So. That is the way to do it. I want. I feel like this taco combination is going to be good, though. That could be a little game. It is, but yeah. yeah. is awesome. Yeah. I got a question for you guys. I feel like that should be a way more popular condiment. Actually, and I want to include the uh, the pr- producer oh, you're gonna team talk to on them? there. When you're hungover, and I only like to, like, at most drink once a Thank week you, as man. a 30-plus-year-old now. I, if I drink twice in a week, it just guts me because I'm old and out of shape, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, when you're hungover, are you, do you have like no appetite or all the appetite? Because I could eat a horse if I'm hungover. I have a thing where I will, my eyes will get bigger than my stomach. Like the food will come or I'll make the food and I get I'll have you, two yeah. bites and I'm like, I can't I'm the opposite. This, like so I, I, I went you. to throw it over. You pussy. <laughs> I, I, I don't, I'm not, I have no shame. No, JP. You got to hit the bottom. There we go. Thank you. Um, historically, those cans are hard to open, bottles. Um, but, yeah, I had like I so, had a skillet from Griddle24 this morning. What did you say? So, yeah, tasterealchicago.com. Go buy your beef kit. Uh, they're also in a plethora of Home Depot, as I tweeted about before. Uh, anyone that has a fixed and frags locations or go to 901 West Randolph, get yourself a Mr. G. Uh, get yourself a oh, beef I, kit there. You so. got a you got a fork. I want I the do. little hot muff on there too. This this is the move. This is the move. Have you done this before? On tacos? That's mild. I prefer the hot variety. Oh. And oh, it's nitro. Don't touch the jar in there, Dave. <laughs> I've never said that about JP. So you put words in my mouth. You hate when people do that to you. Don't do that to me. Thank you. <laughs> he does it more than fucking anybody. <laughs> well, I mean, just saying. Um, all right, what's the premise of this? I don't. Dave made a challenge and it was half baked. You know, you're already gonna be playing from behind here. Oh, he's lost. <laughs> <laughs> you lost half the taco there. That's what your fingers are for, man. Okay, but if we're if we're the, the idea is to eat the taco. All right. Let's see if Eddie can do a better job. So it's just I gotta you gotta keep it in. I mean I don't know how you eat it. We'll just judge. We'll just judge based on. I I would deduct points for Dave losing half of the taco in the second bite. Okay, that was a clean bite. Yeah, by Ed. class here. Thank you. Mm-mm-mm. I saw that cilantro. I mean that Dave. cilantro I ain't ain't hiding from this me. This is this is a bad challenge. I was joking about it, but I'm not gonna <laughs> say no to a taco. Are they you got the you got the twin uh, tortillas on there too? Mm-hmm. Okay, because that was that was your nemesis yeah, yesterday. It was. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I think I won. And then Hannah grabbed it. Well, you got to finish the taco. Like, it's a pretty clean box compared to Dave's. Now, I, I'll give the kid this one. That's two and one. <laughs> Six sixty six win percentage. You're going to the playoffs. With How that. was it with the muffaletta? <laughs> two and one muffaletta was great. It was actually very good. Yeah. Two and one. Yeah, so Taste Real Chicago. They ship all over the United States. Uh, make sure you check out. that out. Check it out. It's the best. You had any of this yet, Chris? No, I have not. Well, you should no. take some home with you. Oh, yeah, definitely. Take, well, it's good there's stuff. unopened ones here. It's good stuff. Yep. You have had it before, though, right? I don't said, think so. You no. just said no. No. Get the potatoes out of yours. You've never had a, a town beef with hot jar on it? No. We're going to have to change I'm it. I'm uncultured. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't say so. <laughs> so no, he's he's moving moves. here. Soon I'm moving enough. here. So yeah, I'll, I'll get my fix. All right. So uh, with the new format of the show, if you guys haven't seen or you guys don't know, here's kind of towards the tail end of the Thursday show where we will talk about Chicago sports, the red line segment. So now we will transfer over into that. Uh, I guess we could lead with this. I met Justin Fields last Friday in Scottsdale. He's him. 
Yeah. Stop how, saying that. You're not how, hip or young enough to say that, first of all. <laughs> well, that's kind of the joke. Like, we, we killed it. We killed that yeah. by saying that. Um, How was he? He was great. Okay. If you haven't listened to the PMT interview, go check it out. They did a great job with him, as always. Uh, he, you know what I loved about him is it was obviously there's real fear when you're when you're a quarterback or someone you yep. really care about goes on those shows because you don't want them to suck, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Because, like a good example, like I think Dak had like an interview on there that oh, like brutal. disaster. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he hung up the phone and he's like, "What the fuck was that?" Or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So like you you worry about that, right? Yeah. Because you want your guy to be cool and good. That was one of like the first big red flags with Addison Russell. Yeah, he went on Correct. The That's he right. Was a Correct. disaster on them. Like, what the fuck is this guy? Seems like an asshole. Correct. Yeah. So, so, I, w- I was worried. I was yeah. like, fuck. And like, you've seen interviews with him before, and like, he typically does fine. I feel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But like, nothing like very oh, coach worldy. But like, you never know if he'll get the jokes because Big Cat and PFT is just like the p- the humor is different than like a, a standard sports talk radio. It well, it's present. For starters, like yeah. they, there is humor. And then he had, you know, and it's not like he hasn't had a couple of missteps uh, in press conferences and stuff where it was like he, the fans got mad at him for, what was he saying? Like, we care more than the fans or something like <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. And it was, it was much ado about nothing. But he has had a couple of things where it's like, oh, shit. Like, he he has gotten himself in trouble or putting his foot in his mouth a little bit. So I'm glad that didn't seem to be the case. This was he cool? Also- was he cool? Yes, he was. Okay. And what I liked about it was he was good. And you could tell he was being reserved. Like, yeah. he's cooler than he came off. That's the vibe I got. Okay. Like, he was like, I want to give you more. I could give you more. But, like, hey, I'm trying to be good at quarterback right now. Yeah. I'm not trying to make waves. Like, I'm trying to be more accomplished before I start doing shit like that. Okay. So, like, he was. He was leaving some in the gas tank. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and I appreciate that. For yeah. sure. Like, you don't want. I'm trying to think of an example of a player who, like, tried to put the, 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 the cart before the horse. In that example, hmm. where it's like I'm gonna be like Mr. Fucking Baker Mayfield, yeah, like that. That's that, actually that pretty good. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I feel bad. For, uh, no, I, I bad. actually I liked Baker for a long time I, too. I still I hate to like use, him yeah. on a human level. Yeah, I do too. I just and I that's why that, I just said I feel bad. I just feel like that Browns team was at uh, I think 19 when they were just convinced that they were about to make a Super Bowl run and they mm-hmm. went like seven. And yeah, nine. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a I good think example. Was that 20? Yeah. No, because didn't they when they beat the Bears? Not, Nineteen because breaks off COVID for sure. Yeah, because yeah. they made the COVID year they made the playoffs. Right? Yeah, <clears throat> they, yes, you're right, you're right, you're right. That's a pretty good example. But you know, there's there's yeah. examples all over mm-hmm. the place where guys like come in the league and then they just like talk shit or like, yeah, not even talk shit, but it's like an air of like confidence that exceeds what they've actually correct. Done. Right. And yeah. then they never reach that thresh. Right. Yes. Right. Like, so I get yeah. the vibe that he's like very much like it's either that or he's just like, hey, I don't trust the media, so I'm not going to say yeah. shit. So but he maybe tr- he never does that. Trusted him enough to go on that show. Well, yeah, I'm yeah. sure he was direct to yeah. go on there. Well, yeah, and he did he did the rounds like he did the Rich Eisen yeah, yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, he had a, good, yeah. a couple good quotes on yeah, there yeah, too. Yeah. So, yeah, that's good and to hear. And you got to take into account that, especially with Dan, considering his fandom, that Dan would never let him, you know, get into trouble for the sake of getting a quote out there if it's going to make him look bad. Yeah, you know, I, probably. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Dan, they, they're pretty authentic. They're pretty dialed in with what they do. Yeah, there. exactly. Here's another question. Is he one of those guys that you're like, fuck, he's huge when you stand oh, he's next got, to him? He's a monster, tall, right? He's tall. But for it sure. He looks he, like thick as fuck. Too. Yeah. He's like 230. He's a linebacker. I don't know. I, you didn't get that vibe from him? Yeah, no, I don't know. I wasn't like really sizing him up too much, to be honest with you. That's the first thing I do when I'm I look you? straight yeah. at an athlete's ass. <laughs> I judge those glutes. If you don't have a good glute, I don't want nothing to do with you leading my team down. You, you were trying it. to, you were taking shots at my ass last night. You got a Hank Hill ass now. You need to hit the power. It was those. It was those jeans. It was the jeans. Yeah, it was those. Okay. Uh, yeah. He's Carl, got no butt. Carl showed him the picture we have of the uh, like mosaic thing, and he's like, "Hey, you got to come in." And like, and he shot like that was cool, and he's like, "Oh, that's sick." So yeah, like he's like, "You got to come in and sign or whatever." Um, so yeah, it was it went well, and uh, he did a great job. So I think people will really like it, and it was it was what I hoped Ed, for. Eddie's exactly. off of Brace Young officially. I was never on. <laughs> Uh, except for after are you going to yell at him for putting words in your mouth? <laughs> Don't put words in my mouth. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I, I, it, I could say that, and I could, I, I could know <laughs> where he's coming from. I don't know about you. Sometimes you. Oh, I definitely try to make people think what I'm saying is the truth, even though I know it's just me lying through my teeth to <laughs> yes. spite you for whatever I'm saying. In yes. That moment. Oh, I know. That's like the that's and the I foundation of your relationship. That. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I know. And that. you do the same thing to me, and don't you say otherwise. Next question. Baseball reports today. 
or we can keep talking about Justin Fields. Um, talk about him all day. Really, just Bears. Really, I, I don't know. A lot of people are making a big a big guff about Matt Nagy winning a Super Bowl. Ah, let him have it. Whatever. Uh, he didn't win. What is his job there? Quarterback yeah, coach. He's a quarterback coach. He's going to be the OC next yeah. year. Yeah. Because the enemy's leaving. I guess. Uh, listen, I, by all accounts, Matt Nagy's a good guy. Yeah. Like I don't want to sit here and like yeah. crucify the guy every time because it just didn't work out. Like it didn't, didn't work, work out. out. Yeah. Like it, it it upsets me. Like if I go back. And it's like season eight of Game of Thrones. If I go back and I watch it, it'll make me mad. Like if I went back and I watched mm-hmm. the twenty yeah. twenty and twenty twenty one seasons, like I'd be furious mm-hmm. in twenty nineteen. Mm-hmm. But like I don't know. At the same time yeah, it, sounds it like really depends on the coach too. And, so, and I think how they conducted themselves. Like there's certain ones where it wouldn't was, bother me at all. It sounds you know like what? the end of the breakup. You know what? He was he is a good example of what we were just talking about with quarterbacks because uh, he got he got really cocky yeah. wearing the the, the like tweet George cap Hallis. yeah, yeah. The, the yeah. T formation true. against that's the Packers good point. that is good, good. point good Dave, call yeah. he did he did However, and that's what makes him a little unlikable even though it's like a whatever turn the page we got a good thing going so far yeah. with the new staff and regime and everything. However, he hasn't really taken shots. From what I've seen, I from what I can recall, I, no. And and then he was the Chicago media um, in around the Super Bowl, like kind of cornered him uh, different places during media day, and and all of his answers were um, pretty good. Yeah, I, like in, like an acknowledgement like of like the road. things that he got wrong, and like he really praised the fans, and you know, it's like it's a great organization, it just didn't work out, sort of thing, and like didn't take shots at Mitch or anybody except for really himself. So I appreciated that too. Yeah. A lot of a lot of accountability. Listen, if people want to be mad because they think he squandered a very talented team, by all means. Dude, he, I, I'm still mad about that too, but I'm not going to crucify the guy every chance he, I get. He's yeah. a very good coach as long as he has Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> and he's very <laughs> yeah. Good. yeah. He could have done that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so um, and then I don't know. There's the Hester Hall of Fame snub. And I'm actually pissed about. You know, that. I, I, I would am like too. to talk actually, about that. Yeah, you, you, I'll, you have at it first, but I was. I, yeah. I, he should have been a first ballot Hall yes. of Famer. And and I I don't. I'm not some football. I'm not any savant, but football in particular. And I don't really. I know you have to have a certain amount of people each year. And, mm-hmm. But aside from that, I don't really know how NFL Hall of Fame voting works all that much. That said, as long as I can remember, he's. Every but it, he changed the game. He changed. Yeah, he was a game a game changer. Every time he touched the ball, that score there was yeah. a good chance it was flipping. Yeah, it, yeah, and it, and it's it's weird also because they changed the kickoff rules either at the end of his career or after he left. So no one's ever going to touch his records because they're just all touch yeah, touchbacks. Yeah, touchbacks. Yeah. So he'll. Non- he'll st- mm-hmm. But this is one of those things where like I just I don't care about the Hall of Fame. I, there's never I, like someone if someone deserves due for the highest honor in a sport or any in any profession or field. I think that I know you don't. Co- I know you don't care, but it is cool when things are groundbreaking, and he would be groundbreaking. Yeah, I, 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 for I sure. Guess, yeah. That's part like, of it. I have this discussion more so with the baseball side of things, but like I think that if you are like without a doubt the best ever at what you did, like there is nobody who's ever been better at returning punts and kicks than Devin Hester. Right, and, and ever. like I think you, ha- if that's the case, it's like the Ozzie Smith principle. It's like greatest. Defensive, I was just about to use greatest him, defensive yeah. shortstop of all time. Yeah, like he hit twenty eight home runs, but who cares? Like he put up a seventy WAR. Like I feel like Hester, you like you said, you mm-hmm. planned your game around Hester. Um, yeah, yeah if, if but I think is, everybody that lived through him, like and, and watched him, like knows that he was the best at that. And it's not going to be like some debate. Well, was he really that oh, good? Well, he wasn't in the Hall no, of Fame. It will, dude. You it will. think it's already happening, dude? Look at right now. There's some young heads here who haven't watched him, and they look at his stats. They're like, "What are you guys talking about? This guy's not deserving." Oh, I'm but glad they I don't remember. Seen that. They don't remember dude. that people would change their offensive philosophy because yeah. they don't want to kick to him. They don't right. remember dude. that they would fucking hold the ball on fourth down and not fucking and just take knees. Yeah, exactly. And do it. Because they changed. don't want to kick to him. That's happening. I, he, oh, I yeah. haven't seen that yet. Yeah. But even like to that point, though, even in the Super Bowl, like they kicked to him once. He brought it to the house, and the rest of the game was squibs. Yeah, you know, they, like they, it was in supposed the Super to be. Bowl. It was supposed to yeah. be a squib, or you know, kick it through the end zone or whatever in that Super Bowl. And of course, the Colts got cocky. And five minutes before the game, they're like, "No, what? We're gonna fucking challenge his ass." Two seconds nope. later, nope. Bad idea. But I, I. Obviously, there's bias in what I'm saying as a Bears fan. I I think it's a crime that he's not in the Hall of Fame. I won't go as far. I as have to call never it a been crime. so entertained in my life watching an athlete. As when there was a punt and Devin Hester was returning it, I would get on the edge of my seat. And I'm like, there is a good chance the Bears take the lead here. 
Yeah. For what it's worth, and especially I think he's because get in of eventually. the offense they had in those years, because they sure were always first. middling. Uh, for what it's worth, I bet he gets in eventually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I probably would have put him first ballot, but over time, <laughs> they've done that a few times with guys who just like how many years was To on the ballot <clears throat> before he finally got voted in? Yeah. It was like two or three, just because. Was it really? Yeah. Oh yeah. You don't. Oh, there's a huge discourse about that. It was because writers people just didn't people, fucking like him. People didn't like him. Yeah. Him. So he, he didn't. He didn't make it to like third time on the ballot. Yeah. Yeah. But you're right too, Dave. Our, from our point of view, selfishly as well, like there was so much time where he was like, it's like a oh, large part putting, of our offense. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We were so bad, and he was. And it's funny, as good as you, he was the worst cornerback I've ever seen in the NFL level. Well, they only tried him at corner for like for a year, uh, uh, yeah. one year. Was it? I one think year? maybe no, no, even yeah. left, maybe even a training. I remember camp. he played it in the Pro Bowl too, and that was back when they kind of sort of tackled and shit still. And he got roasted by whoever. Like yeah, he was a times. pure, pure special. They did give him a pretty big deal at one point for. Uh, try he, try to make him into a wide receiver. Was he like, wasn't a bad like fourth option. He draw he didn't have the best hands, but he wasn't a horrible wide receiver. No. Everyone just say just 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 long step it to him back there and just have yeah. him run it like his <laughs> punt. Remember that? Yeah. yeah. Everyone's like, why? like and people yeah. were like meatball dads like kind of were serious. Yeah. They were like, we need let's, something. Let's take a we, thirty yard loss as a snap back I, to Hester and see what he can do. I can't fucking watch Orton go fucking seven <laughs> for eleven with ninety eight yards. I can't yeah. fucking do this anymore with fucking Bobby Wade. I can't do it. I some sometimes I wonder if he was maybe a little ahead of his time. Like if Andy Reid had like Tyreek Hill is yeah. probably the closest thing to Get him. Get up the Debo Samuel type of uh Yeah, yeah something yeah. like yeah. that. Like yeah. a little yeah. running back yeah. receiver Patterson, yeah. combo yeah. guard. For they, sure. A lot of people try to come on, man. I know he's been a, an awesome return man for his career. I'm talking about Patterson. Yeah. It's not the same. We saw it's not even close. It's not even close. We we saw him for a year on the well, Bears. He it, had a couple of return touchdowns. Yeah, that year but too. like the Patterson ones where he was scoring, it was like he's just the fastest guy in the field, and he hits the seam and goes. Hester was like he would zigzagging everywhere. He would see he those holes electric. before they yeah. were there. It's or he would vision, create them. It was incredible yeah. to watch. Different ball he's one of the most entertaining athletes I've seen in this in this city. I really think so. In terms of like pure thrills. Yes. Yeah. Like it's every like, time he touched the ball, there was a good chance magic was happening. And Rose, Hester, Kane, Ro- Rose is the, Javi. Yes. Javi's a good one. Yeah, that would <laughs> wow, probably. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. With all in Chicago, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> that one MVP year was that 2019? <laughs> yeah. yeah, he had back to 18 and 19 years. Yeah. Right now, yeah. Javi. All right, baseball. Yes, sir. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, I mean, exciting time. You know, this is like especially in Michigan with you know the Lions are done. Neither one of the basketball teams are that good. Uh, the Pistons are just the worst thing ever, and so it's been rough. Now it's counting down the days till opening day. And uh, don't get me wrong, this is. At best, a 90 loss team, uh, but I'm still going to be there for every game and I'm excited. Are so. they projected to be the worst team in baseball? They're going to be pretty they, fucking bad. They won't be the worst team in baseball because the Oakland A's, I Exist. think, might chase the losses record. Like, they're they, going to be horrific. They are so bad. They're coming for that 119? I think they might have a shot at it. I mean, they really? lost 102 last year and they lost, got rid of their three best players, four best players. I mean, I mean 119 is a ton. It probably won't be that many, but I mean, they're in the Astros division. Uh, Mariners division. Rangers got better. I mean, Rangers the, did get better. Yeah, Angels yeah. got better. That's that's rough. But uh, yeah, I mean, as far as the Tigers go, um, I do think ultimately think they'll be better than they were last year. Because I mean, last year for all the lack of talent they had, and it was you know on display every night, they had a lot of bad luck. I mean, every pitcher got injured for him. So hopefully we see something of an ascension. Uh, guys get healthy again. Spencer Turnbull coming back. So. I hope hopefully things are better. You know, just play some meaningful baseball in May. And I'll, I'll take it. What, what do you make of the White Sox win total? I think it was Zips, right? Is 80, that, oh, they put it. What is that? I, I saw that, seventy-four. That I I'm I want to say friends with uh, Dan Simborski, mm-hmm. who is the. Do you, are you familiar with Dan? I, I know the name. Yeah, Dan. Dan's he's actually been on Redline before. He's a great dude. I'm in like group chats with him and stuff. He's like. He he wears his nerdiness on on his sleeve and embraces it. Mm-hmm. Super funny, self deprecating dude, but he's total math whiz. Um, so on that note, I think his projection model for this instance completely stinks. I think what we saw last year with the team that was every single possible thing going Thank wrong, you. and they won eighty one games. Yes, I mean they didn't have Eloy, uh, Grandal, uh, Robert. Um, Lynn, 
Giolito uh, had a G- bad year. Giolito, I mean, and obviously Anderson got yeah. injured a lot, yep. a lot of the year. They now they have actually people playing in the position they're supposed to be, mm-hmm. unless you know the injury bug, which is a, there's a good chance of that happening. I don't see uh, they'll they'll be an 80 win team at worst. Uh, I think so. I I think yeah. all absolute hell. That's like as bottom percentile as it can get. 74 yeah. wins, I think it yeah. was. Yeah, that projection had the Guardians winning the division with 83 wins. So, I mean, that's, right. I, you know, that's, that, and they're always, Zips is usually pretty conservative with the win totals. They're always very, yes. Yeah, I mean. Like I, the best teams in baseball will have like 93, 94 wins. Yeah, a few years ago, yeah. they had the Braves at like 82 and they ended up winning the World Series. So, mm-hmm. I mean, you know, you take that stuff with a grain of salt. But, I mean, I'm, I'm with you when it comes to the White Sox. I think that. Last year, you know, they came in with the highest of expectations. You come up short of those expectations. And I feel like they've become a punching bag for people during this offseason. Like, I keep seeing offseason oh. grades. <laughs> and it's like they're giving the White Sox an F. I'm Which like, okay. it's deserved. You don't think Ben Intent, the Ben Intendi signing no, at least I, elevates I him? Actually, I mean, an he's F a, is He's well. a very good fit for and this. And he fits ro- well in that lineup. And it right. allows uh, Eloy to go back to DH. Yes. Yeah. And and Vaughn going to his natural Can position Can I interrupt in first for a place. second? Well, yeah. Up? You just said that F was deserved. Yeah, it wasn't two weeks ago where we had this conversation. And you gave him a pass fail. You're like, I graded him a pass fail, and you gave him a pass. Did I? Yeah. All right. Well, I changed my mind. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, I don't know that that's the case. We can look it up. If it I'm is. wrong, I'm wrong. Yeah. Um. No, Dad. I I'm sure you, I put a. You must uh, have been in a good mood that day. I I'm sure I put a contingency on that that the off season wasn't over yet or something. But a lot of it has to do with Mike Clevenger right now, and and losing a Brave, and and losing a Brave, like though I didn't take much out of that as other. I get like a Brave was a Brave's also in his mid thirties, a wonderful hitter, thirty seven. Yeah, yeah. And, and and he'll in those two years he has in Houston, he'll mash. Like I have no, oh yeah, he will. I have no yeah. doubt about he that. He stays in like, awesome shape. Yeah, yeah. He but plays every day. Yeah. Vaughn's gonna be great. Vaughn was solid last year. Mm-hmm. He's gonna be a good player. He's a good athlete. Yeah. He's. I mean, that's. I would disagree with that. You don't think he's good at no? He's, you don't think he's, he's even good at first. I mean, I, he'll be fine at first, Better than but like he's first basemen aren't known for their athleticism typically. Fair, but yeah, I, mean, I just meant in terms of playing first base. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he he's a first baseman. He doesn't right. belong in the outfield. Yes, um, right, which is where they put him. Which and, uh, you can look at all the advanced numbers. I thought he did his job in the outfield, which was to catch the ball, sit directly at you, and do nothing flashy, and just yeah. stay on the field as much as possible. Which is something that Eloy Jimenez could not do, and that's why. Everyone's like, oh, Eloy's a better outfielder. I, I disagree with that wholeheartedly because Eloy can't play the outfield if Eloy's hurt, and Eloy gets hurt playing the outfield. Yeah. So why would you play Eloy in the outfield? I don't ever want to see another pitch with Eloy Jimenez in the outfield ever again. Ever again. And Everyone just points to fan graphs and their defensive ratings and shit. I don't care about that stuff. Use your eyeballs, people. Like, oh, Eloy's got better range. Who gives a fuck if he's running into walls and getting hurt? Yeah, That's my point. Anyways, um, on that note, it, it's it's been a disaster. I mean, the last two years, they let Carlos Rodon walk. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was bad. Uh, without offering him a qualifying offer. And I know for a fly, like a 1,000% fact that when the Giants offered him, I believe it was two for 44 with the second year being a uh, player option, mm-hmm. that he brought that that contract offer to the White Sox and said, if you match, I'm back. And they're like, no, no, thank you. Wow. Because they're a loser organization. <laughs> In spite of what they try to sell us, which is World Series and all that shit, um, it, it's it's really disheartening to me because today is a day that I typically mark on my calendar. We're recording on Wednesday right now, yeah. And uh, pitchers and catchers, I've seen like you know Andrew Vaughn in the cage this morning and shit. So full, spring training's fully underway for the most part. It's I'm hoping it's one of those years where I really enjoy myself because my expectations are are not that high. Yeah. Fair. I mean, I they still probably should win the division based on talent alone. It's still a really good lineup, man. I mean, it's it a is great. But lineup. These guys need to fucking play, and yeah. they need to play to their potential. And I'm sick of talking about the potential because they've been in the league for four fucking years now. And that that leads me to the question I was about to ask you, which is, I mean, it's God, it doesn't seem like that long ago, but it was about six years ago you guys did the full reset. Yeah, yeah. It was and 2016. Yeah. It was post 2016. It was December 6, 2016. Was that the was sale trade? The day Chris Sale got traded. Yeah. And the next day, obviously. Anniversary of Pearl Harbor, we had to remember those <laughs> fallen soldiers. It was the day Eaton got okay. traded, and it was like, all right, they're actually picking a lane and sticking. Never to forget, it. yeah, never forget. Uh, but then it, that never continued forget. into like in the you know you traded Quintana second or, you know deadline in seventeen. If so, and we're six years removed from that. Let's say they're a third place team this year. 
Are you officially saying the rebuild has failed? Oh yeah, yeah. Are you already and there, or do, are no, you giving them I'm this not. year? Yeah, I'll, I, I agree this with is that. their this is their last chance. Um, I my it's 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 not necessarily even player expectations at this point. It is, uh, it's ownership. I and everybody knows my my seething hatred of Jerry Reinsdorf. Yes. Um, but I I I truly don't think this team will do everything in their power to win a World Series. And yeah. if they don't care, how how are, am I supposed to care when I only care about that? That's the only. I don't care about any single person in this room. <laughs> I don't care about my family members. You guys can all get the fuck out of my face. I got my dog who I care about, and I got that baseball team I care yeah. about, and a basketball team about ten miles north, which we can talk about in a little bit. Yeah, and that's it. And they just take that from me. And that's sad. I feel to me. Ownership, that is such an issue that plagues baseball is apathetic is. owners. Like I I feel like it doesn't get talked about enough. I, I could count on my hand. We talk about it. Uh, well, I mean, with you guys, yes, but I mean it's I wish it was just exclusive to the White Sox or just exclusive to Detroit. It's across baseball. It is. It's I a mean, it's a it's a black plague of death yeah, on like, that sport. It's so, that owning a baseball team is like a fucking hobby. Like you don't see that in any other sport. Like how long have the Pirates been bad? How you know the, how long have the Tigers Reds. been bad? You know, you guys yeah. don't spend the way you should. Uh it's like every team outside of maybe the A's and maybe uh, two or three others could could go over the luxury tax. They could spend San Diego's the 27th biggest TV market. They're over the luxury tax with if not the highest, the second highest That guy, I don't even know who the owner is. I know Give that AJ guy, Preller's the GM. Yeah, AJ yeah. Preller's the GM. I actually <laughs> I think Carl's there actually. This was in 2019. We we're at uh spring training and we're we're leaving the you, you've never been to Arizona, you said. I've right? been to Arizona spring no. training. Yeah, cuz uh, Tigers are in Florida. Yeah. Um we were out there, and we were leaving uh, the – what? it's the – it's called, like, the salt mine or something. It's it's where the Rockies and the Padres play their spring training games. And we're at a bar, and we see A.J. Preller walking out, and he's on the phone wheeling and dealing. And I go, hey, A.J. And I'm like, I want Tatis back. And he looked at me like, Ugh. And he just walked away. <laughs> so that's my A.J. Preller story. But um, – Respect. But that ownership, like you said, yeah. like, their proof – that these teams have the money to, yeah. you know, go over luxury tax when, when you know, they need to push those chips to the middle, mm -hmm. and most don't. Yeah, and a lot of teams like to create that facade of being poor, like that nope. idea. Like the Rays could spend, like that maybe not the way that you know the team like the Dodgers do, but they could spend more than they do. Yeah, ownership chooses not to, mm -hmm. so you know, that's why nobody goes to fucking games. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah shit. It's what really sad. Yeah, it's a, they play it's a, a beautiful game, game. Yeah. and and I saw this firsthand in. The Dominican Republic a few weeks back. That video yeah. is coming out a week from today on the 22nd. You'll check it out. I was talking to you about this a little bit yesterday. Mm -hmm. American baseball sucks compared to Dominican mm -hmm. baseball. And I'm talking about, I mean, the game is yeah, obviously atmosphere. the game. But the atmosphere at those games, you want to talk about putting asses in seats at baseball games and, like, growing the game? Look no further than the Dominican Republic. Those guys do it right. No. Those games were so much fucking fun. I didn't give a shit less who won. I was actually rooting for the blue team just because it was fun. Like me and Donnie, like having a friendly competition, yucking it up with all the fans. Those guys do it right. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because I brought up to you yesterday as well is that that translates into American college baseball. Yes, like, yes, it seems yes. like mm -hmm. when guys get to the minors, something just there's there's a certain etiquette that you have to have. And I'm sure you get humbled when you get there. I mean, it's a long way to go yeah, just to grind, get to sure. the major league level. But it's like to a lot of these guys, the game. And I don't know when that discourse started of this whole idea that you know. There's a certain way to conduct yourself on a baseball. I think field. it's always been that way with baseball. True, but like you've had guys like Ricky Henderson, who you know, or like Dennis Eckersley, who was pointing at guys, you know, every yeah. time every time he struck him out. It seems like over the last decade or so, it's become far more controversial. Maybe it was like Batista's bat flip just you know opened up this new like fucking Rook Nato door door for conversation. Yeah. yeah, but that was awesome. That was sick. That was one of the best baseball moments of the last twenty years. Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, that was awesome. They got to bring back fighting. Yeah, you got any thoughts the on the Cubs? I like the offseason they had. I think I think they play in a bad. You don't. I don't. I don't think he thinks the they should have done more. They should have. They should have spent. You know, gotten two of those short stops. I thought that Dan or uh, Trey Turner was like. If I picture what a Chicago Cubs player looks like, it's Trey Turner. Would you have given Trey Turner the eleven years that the Phillies gave him? Though? Yeah. What do I really? give a shit? Well, okay. About? Okay. F he's, yes. He, he's if, a big money's not. Money's fake. Money yeah. is fake. In baseball, it kind of is. 
It can really be. is. It can be. Some teams like to use bad contracts to like to cripple them. Like we did that with Jordan Zimmerman, and we did. We're doing it with Miguel Cabrera. This whole like, oh, you know, he can't spend those contracts off the books. It's like, yes, you can. You absolutely you, can. Uh, they choose not to. But yeah, no. I, I I think they play in a bad division. I think that they are on the up and up. I'm still kind of confused by their trade deadline last year. That that. I don't really – maybe they just didn't get a, a good enough deal for Contreras, but you held on to him. Okay, sure. Um, but I think they'll be better. They'll be better. I, I don't like that division that much at all. I think No, that division yeah, stinks. I, the Cardinals will be the favorite, and they'll win it. You got Woodruff and Burns and yeah. and what's-his-face. Uh, who's the three for the Brewers? Peralta. Peralta, yeah. um, which is a fucking awesome team. If they're healthy. Yeah. 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 But aside from that, that division, they're all their offense yeah. stinks. Yeah, the Cardinals are in a weird spot. It kind of seems like like they'll they'll be good enough to win the division. But the Cardinals are one of those weird teams, though. Too, they're just always they always kind of good. They always pull guys out of there. Yeah. Ass too. Oh, and they have two Hall of Famers on their infield. That helps. Uh, but no, I mean I, they'll be better. Um, I, I think uh, I I like the offseason they had. Didn't spend a ton. Even the Dansby contract, I like. I like him more than a lot of other people do. A lot of people kind of view him as a he had one really good year. And I then, that's how I do view him. Like they 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 paid for him as the guy, and I think he's a complimentary piece. That's how I look at Dansby Swanson, and that's not a dig at him per se. He's a great shortstop, fantastic shortstop, but I don't think he's going to understand that, that distinction though, because to me, it's like the guys who got paid to be the guys are the ones who got the ten eleven. Uh, your right, deals. I think and that you got less. Than he that. got what? What did he get? Seven. But, seven. I mean, seven. he's the highest guy as of now on that team. And if you look at next year's free agent class, there's not dudes like that available. Yeah. And if they're looking at like this is going to be the year where they're back on the upswing, mm-hmm. and you know, going after those top of the line guys, like yeah, but Dancy like, Swanson is like tier B or C to me. Yeah, but you would hope that they're not trying to win anything this year. But this is like a transition year with like PCA ex- and, the, and all those guys course, coming. Yeah. So you want to have like a pro. Like a star guy to be like he's not a star though. But like eventually you want other people to overtake him, and then and then he can be a piece. But like you're the only guy. You're you're always the guy that said spend now, like spend, spend, spend. So it's like maybe they spend now. Then the following year they have you know they have like the young guys come up, and then maybe they supplement that two year two or three years from now, and then he is a guy, and then you're ready to go. And that and that's I I just watched that all unfold in front of me over the last five six seven years is. A lot of these prospects, like Mikado, was so fucking bad last year. Was I terrible. wanted to wring his neck. Mm-hmm. I thought he was going to be so good. I thought he was going to be. 2019, he went nuts. I'm like, he's going to be an MVP one day. Superstar. Yeah. yeah. And, like, prospects prospects will break your heart. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, you can't say. Like, well, you look, at our, look at our deck. rebuild. It's like, you do, but you don't no, know totally, what he is yet, totally. you know? But I don't you think there's You got a ready-made wrong. superstar. A fucking superstar in Trey Turner. Obviously, Correa, there's baggage there with his ankle or whatever it is yeah but trey turner i just thought was a perfect 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 fit and i i did originally say Cray, not knowing his ankle is by some doctor's account the worst it's ever or he's ever he's seen. ever seen yeah but um like trey turner that's just such a perfect fit for that team in every single possible way and they opted for the cheaper guy yeah and to me i'd want the better player i don't care okay, yeah that's yeah. fair yeah what about uh, – And switch, I think they're about the same age. To switch gears a little bit here, Chief, I, the Rangers-Patrick Kane thing is – Yeah. What a quote. What exactly happened with Friedman? He was, like, upset about the – Well, like, there, there's been was this – out of context or what happened? Uh, th- there's been this discussion that – because he, he missed a couple games and he had this hip injury. And now there's, like, this narrative that the hip is, like, a problem. Like he doesn't look the same. He doesn't, you know, and it's, I, I personally don't see that. So that, that's the thing that Friedman's reporting and the media is, is asking Kane about Kane's like, my hip feels way better than it did last year. And last year, Patrick Kane put up 92 points in 78 games, but he was playing with Alex to and Dylan Strom, like guys who know how to play hockey this year. He's not, he's playing his center is a fucking Jason Dickinson who Jason Dickinson, like they took on that contract. He's a fourth line guy making two million dollars a year historically. The Canucks gave the Blackhawks a second round pick just to get him off their books. That's Patrick Kane's center, and he's actually having some success with with Dickinson. So that was the report from Friedman that uh, the Rangers, you know, might have preferred Tarasenko because they didn't trust his hip, and people are like, "Oh, he's grinding. It's you know, he doesn't look the same." 
maybe it's my eyeballs, but I, I, I think I've watched 90, 95% of his shifts since 2007. He looks the exact same as me yeah. as last year. But it's like you see plays start to develop, and you see them fall apart. And it's because guys don't know where they're going. Even guys like, and I love Seth Jones, but there are times in the power player where it's like, why are you going there? Like, that's not where can't like, that's not where you're supposed to go. You're supposed to create more space on that play, you know. And it's like there's a million little things yeah. that contribute to him having a down year points wise. But watching him play, I I don't see any difference other than like frustration, fewer kicks at the can because you just don't have the puck as much because your team sucks. And I, th I still think he's going to be a good player. So now it's like the latest report was from this guy uh, who used to be a player, Carl Kaliakovo, who says, like, Patrick Kane's list is Toronto and New York. So the Maple Leafs and the Rangers, and that's it. I think I heard Tom gasp over there. But it, it'll be hard to get it done. But what I was told was that if Kane comes to them, which maybe he has by now, and says, I want to go to the Rangers, okay, the Blackhawks will do everything they can to make that happen. So – even if it's a situation where they have to bring in another team to eat, you know, more that, you know, take on some of the contracts and make it a three way trade so the Rangers can fit them under the cap. The Hawks might have to take a bad contract back and who knows what they get in compensation, like maybe very little. Mm -hmm. If he's like, trade me to the fucking Rangers, they will try to trade him to the fucking Rangers. Just to be right by him. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's. Yeah, and and he has a full no trade clause. Yeah, so it's not like they have any room to create a bidding war. I think if you ask Kyle Davidson, he would rather trade him to Toronto because Toronto has uh, a little bit more to give. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and you know, there's like the you know, there's all, like there's so many little things about this where like Kane's family goes to all the games. Okay, his dad doesn't like to fly. His dad drives here from Buffalo. Okay, so they oh, really? yeah, so there there's like, like I had heard rumors about like. Dallas and LA, like their names are out there. But from what I've been told is that those are just off, like they're out of the equation because Kane wants his family there and his dad's not going to drive from Buffalo to Dallas. You can do a 10 hour trip if you have a homestand for Chicago. It's not that, not it's that bad. It's an easy drive. It's not that yeah. bad of a drive. But he's not, but like Toronto's right fucking there. Yeah. And so I think, and I think the Hawks would like that Matthew Nyes. I know that for a fact. He's, he's a power forward, top prospect, plays at Minnesota. And I think that there there's a deal probably to be made there, and there's probably a, there's a contract or two that Toronto wouldn't mind seeing getting off their books. The Hawks could take back, so you get Matthew Nyes and a and a pick, and and then I do think that they will offer Kane on July one. I think that the, I think that that is a real thing. Whether or not he wants to come back, I don't know, but I I think that uh, one way or another, I think he he very well could be. His you know his girlfriend's family's here. He spent everyone's like oh he's going home to Buffalo. Buddy, he lived in Buffalo from ages like 7 to 11. And then he went to Michigan to play hockey for, I think it was like Honey Baked or one of those AAA teams. And and, uh, and then he went to Canada for junior. And then he came here. Like he's he spent the vast majority of his life in Chicago. Like this is his home. And so, Yeah, I, I mean, you discount the memories you make from ages 7 to 11, I think. <laughs> What's that? I think you're discounting the memories. A, as a guy that age. moved around a lot at that period of my life, I'm not. Okay, like I like yeah, those are fond memories, but like his home is here. It's his home is here. Like he doesn't even go back to Buffalo in the summers really. Like he stays here. So he's a Chicago like Patrick Kane's a Chicago guy. And and I think that there is a chance that he'll come back. I, I still gun to my head, I don't think there's gonna get a there's gonna be a deal made. I just don't I just have this feeling that he's not gonna get traded. And that's not me being a homer, it's just like things i've heard when's the deadline again march 3rd okay yeah so we're, we're coming up or so. coming up to the end so uh and then taves is still out but this this is that is why i'm going because i do think there is a gun to my head i think he'll be here but there's obviously a very strong chance that he's not and that's why i'm going on sunday because i'm going to try to soak up these patrick kane moments yeah. and and so seeing him against toronto in person there is just something different about see, like hockey in person is just a little bit different you can see things and you can like kind of isolate your eyes on one guy and like i want to watch and take in as much patrick kane as i can in a hawk sweater while he's here because one way or another like the days everyone has to get off the bus eventually and i think you know he's 34 so whether it's in yeah. two weeks or in three years, like his days are coming to an end. I really hope, I really hope he's back because it's you. Like you can kind of start to see. I know you like prospects break your heart, but like even they had their first round pick got in the lineup last night or last weekend rather. This kid Frankie Nazar and he had been hurt all year, so this is his first game in college. 
he looked unbelievable. <laughs> he looked like yeah. he's like the fastest guy. Like, and it's like, how is this guy? He was he played two games in Michigan State. First game, he was like looked rusty. The second game was like, oh, this guy's a star. Like they're like they're starting to put together some pieces. And I would love, kind of like this the Swanson idea, to have a guy that it's like this is the captain. This is the guy. Mm -hmm. It all still fl flows through him. And and then we're giving him the talent around him that he deserves. Do you worry about his body breaking down though? Because I, I see what you're saying. It reminds yeah. me a lot of the arguments I had with people five, six, seven years ago about Miguel Cabrera with the Tigers. Where it's yeah. like, I want him here forever. He's gonna yeah. be, he's always gonna be good, and guys the, can learn from him. And then he's like a negative war player. Like how the difference I would say is that Miguel Cabrera is a fat shit. Fair. He did and not take great care of his body. Patrick Kane is is v takes very good care of his body. Fair. Um, and has really for like seven, eight years now, like been very diligent about that. And then he's also like never been a guy that had relied on his physical attributes to be, it's all his brain. Like his brain is just at a different level. So when people are like, oh, well, he's lost a little, maybe a little bit of a step because that hip, I'm like, let's say, let's grant you that he did. Doesn't fucking matter. Yeah. Like doesn't matter. He gets himself in the right spaces. He creates space for everybody else. He can feather a pass through anything. Every If you're on the ice and Patrick Kane has the puck, you're open. Yeah. Like if you know where to go, he's going to get it to like you're open. And uh, so like that, like, you know, that when Panarin was here, like I've never seen two guys just like see the game the same way. Yeah. And they would have those shifts where they would have. They, I remember one period against the uh, against the Islanders. It was Panarin's first year where they had the puck and they were just like playing catch in the offensive zone for like 90 seconds. And the Islanders could do nothing about it. What, what was their nickname? I used to call them the soulmates. Yeah, the soulmates. Yeah, yeah but was I, that you? That was I, just me. Yeah, they're like they're soulmates. Yeah, they're can yeah. Turbo, that, Turbo, Turbo, Turbo. That abstract yeah, little yeah. connection, that telepen. I know what you mean. Yeah, we'll see. Still, still a couple of weeks to talk about this. So. <clears throat> yeah, um, but they're you know I do think they're on the right track. Yeah. The Hawks with this rebuild, and it's just I I've I've always said like I don't. He's coming off the books anyways. You can give him another three year deal, way less money than you have. Taves is Taves is gone. And then you're gonna have like this pool of money. You should probably sit on it for a year, and then you integrate these young guys. And then in 2024, 2025, you should be like yeah. half the league makes the playoffs. You should be able to figure out how to be average. Yeah, and mm -hmm. on your way up to the top. And I think that that is a realistic goal to make the playoffs in 2025. And I would love it if you were a part of that. Yeah. The poison of Bowman is gone, and the future is. It's, it somewhat fucking fine. lingers, though, dude. Like yeah. It's it's you know it's it's kind of remarkable how well Davidson has been able to do it, and the assets he's already acquired because they yeah. should be trading. I think they'll make at least three trades before the deadline, where they're going to get, you know, more picks and more prospects in the coming draft. So I, I think they're going to be they already have the fifth ranked prospect pool. After this draft, it'll probably be number one. Mm -hmm. Because if you have Bedard or Fintilli plus another first round pick plus two second round picks, then you have these guys continue to mature. Like they're loaded up, they're building a good nucleus, and loaded you don't need up. all of them to hit. You just need like half of them to hit, mm -hmm. and then you supplement it with the money that you have, and then you're good to go. You get a good spot. Yeah. All right then, uh, Chris. Thank you for coming in. Anytime, guys. Appreciate that. Uh, this is it. First week of the Mid Show. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube. We'll be live on Tuesday, two p.m. Central. And uh, yeah, I had fun with show. that yesterday. I, was, I had fun yeah. with the live show. That was so, good. Yeah. Tuesday, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Say right, it, Ed. That's it. See you next Tuesday. See you next Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see ya. Tell, tell the people you'll see them next Tuesday. <laughs> I just said that. You said it. Said, Clean the potatoes Tuesday. out of your ears. Yeah. I, well, I wanted to reiterate.